Depot. Uh, getting my stuff. I like this. Looking for the getting the guts. Oh, my toilet. Let's go inside and see what they got for me. So these are the guts. I'm gonna also replace this because yes. Sometimes they go out every five years. Sometimes they get 10 years out of the pants. But I'm gonna replace those as well. Oh my. They on the other side, my man. On the other side? Yeah, they on the next aisle over. All right, thank you, man. Yeah. You got it. He said they over. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, you got it, my man. Uh, so I gotta replace the guts. You know, just in case, because I, I was using it this morning, and I thought I heard something. So that's, yeah, when you hear your toilet not, after, you know, it's flushed, it's supposed to stop, you still hear it, some water running? Yeah, that's concerning. So, of course, I didn't see no dive, but just in case, man, it ain't going to hurt to replace them. These things only run about fifteen ninety seven. For a better version, two times stronger, you know, compared to the general one, it usually lasts about, it's like a five year warranty, but we know how that goes. It's like 989 or 998. So I'm gonna go with the better one. But I'm gonna teach you a lesson down here. Let me show y'all something. Y'all see this shit? The worst you, thing you can use for your pipes, liquor drain on it. Any of that shit is not good. It's harsh. It's very harsh, especially on PVC. Now, I know it's supposed to be uh, Schedule 80, Schedule 30 PVC pipes. But that's not what's up under your sink. You got that cheap ass pipes, and I'll show you the type of stuff that's more likely up under your sinks. This liquor drain on shit, do not use this shit on your goddamn. Um, don't use that shit. Don't use it at all. This shit right here. Do not use this shit at all. It's bad for pipes. Please believe in me with me, with my job, and I work closely with plumbers and dealing with plumbers and have relationships with plumbers and know a little bit about plumbing. Do not use this shit on your goddamn pipes. I don't care what it says. Don't use it. Because this is the kind of pipes you're going to be using. Or you're going to be having in your house more likely. So, this is the cheap shit that they're going to put in your pipe. It's just thin as hell. It's not good. Now, of course, it's universal. And you know what you do, what you do. This is the shit they put in there. Look at that cheap shit. This is some cheap shit. This is rental property shit. This is what I will put in rental property. I know them dumb motherfuckers are gonna be the first one to grab some goddamn Drano. They be the first one to put some goddamn Drano in my shit. And I tell them not to. Who really listens? Not them dumb motherfuckers. By the way, it's first of the month. Guess who got paid, motherfuckers? Guess who got paid? So, yeah, that's the shit you put in there. That's the shit you replacing your up under your sinks and your bathrooms kitchens and all that shit that cheap shit and you imagine that harsh shit on this cheap plastic it's just gonna be ate up fast if you so happen to get this I mean it'll last a little longer but that's still not good now this is some metal some cheap ass metal what is metal that shit, that shit's still not gonna last. Cause eventually it'll crow that shit too. It'll kill that shit over time. Cause that shit's harsh. That shit's real harsh. And it's very unforgiving. Especially on that PVC. On that plastic. Don't use that shit. You gotta go the old fashioned way, dog. Let me show you. So when I say old fashioned, this is the old fashioned way. Now, depends on how much you want to invest in this bullshit. Depends. Of course, if you're a worker, man, you're going to invest in a little bit more. But the common guy, it's 
so I'm gonna be good for someone's household. Now, these are what you probably want to get something like this, you know, something simple. You can, I feel gonna be a workout for that form, I promise you that. Or you can get the ones if you got a good drill, you can connect that part right there to a drill. It's probably about 25 to 50 foot in here, a snake. That's the handle you crank it with to, you know, to make it like slid around like a goddamn snake. You know, or depends on how much you want to invest, man. Now, if you want to invest some money, looks like they're gonna have a sale. Well, they got a sale currently right now on Roby. Roby's not a good product to me. It's cheap. But now, it's good for beginners. But if you're a veteran, you know, you know, and you know, I wouldn't mess with it too much. But for somebody beginning or somebody just ain't really trying to do nothing with it. That's perfect for you guys. Perfect for you. Like I said, they got them on sale. But if you're willing to invest a little bit more, right down there is what you need. It's running about 209 uh, now. You can step up a little bit. And ready to snake a real line. Now that's going to go a little farther. It looks like it goes up to. I'm gonna say about 75 foot. So, you know, it depends on what you're trying to do. It's, your house is you only need about up to 25, right? That's all you need. But at 75 footer, you're going all the way. You damn near going out to the street. You damn near going out to the street with that. So right there, it's another one. Depends on what you're looking for. Something like this, something cheap. If you know it's nothing but hair, you know, this is always good to have a child. Something like that to get down there. You know, something like that. Um, something cheap. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's, it's $2.97. You got one that's $3.48. And you know, so on and so on. If something cheap like that, that's fine. Now look, this you can do like a like you're giving it like a blast. Like a forceful blast. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got them them look like the little Pelagon air air things. And you're pretty much just shooting a blast of air through there. That's all you're doing. So, I mean, I've never used nothing like that. I mean, it looked like an oversized powerful plunger is what it looked like to me. I never used nothing like that before, but I guess it could work. You know what I'm saying? It depends on you. But, <laughs> right there, yeah, those are for the big jobs. You got the small bladder. That's the medium-sized bladder. And then you got the, as you can see, the large bladder. And that thing probably could go up to like a six foot, a six inch drain pipe. Let's see. Yeah, four to six. And so, I don't know if y'all can see the picture of the concept. That's what it. So what you do is you, you connect that to your water hose. And you put it down the, the pipeline. Now, of course, I would not recommend you do this. For something in your house it'd be something you doing on outside of your house like to clean out or something like that you would put it down there and force and turn on the water hose and force pretty much the bladder will blow up and then force water through there you know, that's what it's doing so <laughs> same concept with the medium as well as the small but those, those are called bladders and you connect that to your hose see connect that to the water hose and it shoots up. It's got like a split right there. Another hole right there. See the hole? Water force shoots through the hole. And I'm over dropping shit. God damn it. But those are just little things you can do. Don't use that fucking harsh ass Drano shit. That's, you, you, you'll regret it later. I promise you. Once I learned that lesson, I never looked down to get drained off. I'm, 
man. Now I'm just saying. You live and learn. These are all little things you have to do as a homeowner. One more thing before I go about the toilet. Sometimes you got to replace your hose. Now, with that being said, know which one to get. Because you got some that goes for the sink and some that goes for the toilet. So, this one for the toilet. See that? These are for the toilet. That goes up to the toilet part. That goes to the water line. To the wall. Coming out the wall. That goes to the water line. It's got that, that's that good twist seal kick. That's all we get. Right here. That goes to the toilet. That goes to the water line. Make sure you get the correct size as well. It's very important. Always know the length. How much you're going to need to go from your toilet to the water line. That's very important as well. There's your cutoff valves. So. Make sure you pay attention to all that. Very important. Now those over there. Those are for your sinks. Your faucets and all that. Don't get those for your toilets. Don't. Get these. Know the length you need. Make sure you measure how far your water line is to your toilet. It's going to be very important. You don't want to come up short. Again, stay away from this bullshit ass goddamn drain on. This shit shall have had dust on it because this motherfucker shouldn't move. Nobody should use this old hard shit. I don't give a shit what they got over here. Eat somebody easy on the pipes. That's bullshit. All that shit's bad. All this fucking shit. This shit should never fucking move. None of this shit. None of that shit. That fucking shit. Oh, fire. Like liquid fire. That's all it is. Do not put this shit in your goddamn drain. You'll regret it later. And your plumber gonna upcharge your ass. As soon as you find out, he have to deal with it. So that shit can stay in that goddamn drain. And when he's in there work on it, Whoever's working at the, the front end instead of the outside, he gonna be mad because that shit gonna splash all on him. He damn near gonna need a whole hazmat suit on yeah. you, once he find out you're dealing with this bullshit. I'm just saying, leave this shit where it lays. Do not put this shit in your fucking drain. This right here, it's okay to put in your toilet. Some of you stanky motherfuckers need this shit in your goddamn toilets. I recommend this Red X. This shit is good. This shit is good. So, that shit's good. I give it credit for that. That's good for your for your bathroom. So it can clean all that fucking bacteria, man. And it helps with the odors. Another thing is... <coughs> These are environmental uh, sticks. Now, they, they're kind of pricey, man, because they're just strictly for smell. They don't do anything but, you know, eliminate odors. You might as well just pay a little bit more and put this shit in there. Because it not only breaks down the other shit, it also helps with the smell. So, like I said, you get dual action. I recommend that. Definitely that. But this other shit, that shit, leave that shit out of your fucking toilet, man. Let me just say, I say toilet. Toilets, sink, tubs, bathroom sink, kitchen sinks, none of that shit. Don't do it. All right. Something I need to teach y'all. So, so you see this? This is water meter. So, of course, you need a bolt to get this up. But you always try to keep it kind of clear 
debris so they can have access to it. Because this is where they come with your reach of water at. So this is one. Every house has two forms of main water shutoff. Usually one on the outside, one on the inside. What's important is you need to know where your your water shut off is, especially one inside. No one knocks them over the outside. But for sure you need to know what it is on the inside. Cause some of y'all may not have access to a water key or a deep uh socket so you can screw that off and open this up and even if you did you need a water key to get down there now not necessarily a water key because you can get it with a channel lock now it's normally it's probably about two foot down I want to say about two foot before you get there so you're going to have to reach your arm in there and turn it you know the old cliche, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. So you would have to turn that to turn the main water off. Now, when you do that, our water's gonna be shut off. Just letting you know. That's just like a double security. Now you can shut the one off in the house. Usually that gets it. But just in case you want to go extra cautious. Right here, get that deep well socket, open that up, pop it, get a, a pair of channel locks, put your hand down in there, turn it, close. You can kind of tell when it's open, it's almost like a uh, if it's uh, if it's closed, it's gonna be to the side. Some, most times it is and if you go straight up and down you know it's going to be open so this is one of the main water shut off valves every house should have two one on the outside again one on the inside you definitely need to know where your one on the inside is for sure every homeowner should know that as we go second water shut off right there There's my second water shut off. Every house should have one. Like I said, I know where mine is. You need to know where your water shut off is just in case you spring a leak somewhere and you have to shut off that main water valve. Do it as soon as possible. Just saying. Know where your second, especially your inside water valve is. It's a must. With me shutting down that second water valve, that's what you need to do when you're going to do any uh, uh, repairs that's going to could cause water leaks. So when I change the guts on my toilet, I'm gonna have to come down here and shut my water valve off. Now, some people just shuts it off from the uh, from the wall to the toilet. You know, I understand that, but me, I'd rather be more safe than sorry. So I normally like I did when I do before I did before. I shut the main water vault inside, of course. I shut that off. You know, of course you gotta flush the toilet, but I'll talk about that when I get ready to actually do everything I need to do to change the guts. I'll walk you through it. So now I'm about to change the guts on the toilet so right there is a cutoff water line to the toilet and that's where it connects to right there you should always evaluate the job before you get started on it you should always do this so you know what type of tools you may need make sure you always should do that but yeah that's the water line the water line still good you know there's no leaks around that. there's no broken seals and like that so it's still good I don't have to replace that i just have to replace the inside so right here, this is what I'm going to be replacing right there. That's the part of the guts. Don't need to replace the flap. The flap is still good and there's nothing wrong with that. But I need to replace the guts right here. So that's what I'm about to replace. That's the new job. But now first thing I need to go do now 
it's going to shut the water off. So what I like to do is shut off. So what I like to do is shut off the two or the water valve. I don't, I don't usually go outside and shut that off, right? Normally don't do that. So it's righty tighty. Turn it to the right and shut it off. So now my water coming inside my house is shut off. Now I go upstairs and cut off the water to the tub. Now some people may say, man, that's overkill. You better be safe than sorry, I promise you. Right here, you gotta make sure you have everything you need. So that's the desk I gotta replace. It's a wrench just in case I need it and a bucket. Use that bucket just to catch the excess water that may come out the toilet. You know what I'm saying? That may not, that may need to be caught in there. Because once you know, you're going to give it one last flush after you turn the water off. And all the water is going to go down to a certain level. But it's not going to come all the way out of the, um, the tank. So that's why you use this bucket to catch whatever water comes out. So now I'm about to go. And cut off the water. So you know what it is. Righty tighty. Let it loose. So now I got the water cut off. So I did that. Water's cut off. Main water source and the water coming into the to the from the water line to the toilet. It's cut off. Now I'm about to give it a flush. <laughs> So now that the water line is flush, it's low, no more water flowing in. So now I go in here and I screw this. Of course, you might, you should uh, wear some type of protection. You don't want toilet water on your hands or nothing like that. So you should wear some type of protection. You know, maybe some safety glasses if necessary. Maybe some gloves, some sort of uh, protection. So. That's what I'm about to do now. So I'll we'll get back with you after I'm done. So now, as you see, I got the water line off. Uh, took the guts out. Threw it away. This is an empty bowl of the tank. So now I'm about to insert the new guts. Just want to see what it's, you know, step by step what it looks like. So now that I took that off, I can insert the new guts. And then turn the water system back on. And then go downstairs and turn on the main water valve. And everything should be good. I'll keep y'all guys informed. Now I installed the new guts. Of the toilet now I can go and turn on the main water source and then turn on the toilet valve so here we go so now I'm turning the water valve back on so let's open again and now I can go upstairs and shut on the toilet water valve let's turn on the water valve so now the tall screen is built back up. We are currently filling up the toilet with a new valve. So we want to make sure everything is everything, nothing's leaking. A okay. It's filling up and now I'm to it to a certain extent it should cut off and we should know there's no ongoing water. That's the plan. So as we can see the water is filled up to a certain level. It's not above the the ring in there. So where it runs off into the toilet, that's not a problem. Now I can flush it. <laughs> up to a certain extent 
We're good to go. So now we are fully operational. Got that on. Got that seal tight, no leaks. My water level is a, is a level where I need it to be, just enough to fill up the tank, not only the tank, but to empty the toilet out, as well as no continuous leakage or run. So that's how you fix, if the leak is on your side, that's how you fix, that's one way. Now it could have been something else, but most likely it's usually this that needs to be fixed or changed out. That's, they're all plastic and with plastic, you know, how plex is frail and over time it breaks, gets brittles and fall apart. Sometimes it can be this, where you have to replace this because the seal of it may be dry rotted or it just goes bad over a period of time. And sometimes you gotta uh, replace that or sometimes you just, you just need to wipe it off, right? Sometimes you might have debris that gets caught back up in there. You just have to wipe the seal of it, wipe it off, and it should be fine. So it the uh, the top of the tank will sit snug on to the bottom of it. So it depends. But my problem was this. So I replaced that, got a new one, and now we all good.